Hey guys, Robobob66 here. Today we're taking a look at the RPK-16. And as you just saw on that video clip, this gun absolutely slaps kids. The RPK is a light machine gun, and it's the first light machine gun in this game. Now the RPK is quite similar to the AK-74, just it's in a light machine gun configuration. Now the RPK-16 shoots 650 rounds per minute, which is a pretty decent fire rate. It makes it ever so slightly above the average fire rate for most guns. The gun is a light machine gun, so it can be of course fired in fully automatic mode, but if you need to be a little bit more accurate, it also comes in semi-automatic mode as well, which will come in handy if you have to shoot targets at a distance. Now the RBK doesn't have the best ergonomics at a value of 34. This means that you're going to be quite slow to drawing the weapon and it's going to be noisy when you aim down sights. Of course you can mod the gun to improve its ergonomics. Now when it comes to recoil, the RBK has a little less recoil than an assault rifle. It has a vertical recoil of 139 and a horizontal recoil of 387. But of course, again, with the right mods, you can turn this gun into an absolute laser beam. Now the RPK is a little bit more accurate than AK-74 rifles. It has an MOA of 1.65, making it pretty accurate. Though you can put an extended barrel on the RPK if you need to go on a map like Woods, where you may need to shoot targets that are further away. Now by default, the RPK is 5 slots long. The stock can be folded, making it 4 slots long, which is handy when you need to store it in your stash. Though of course, if you added a suppressor or an extended barrel, you can extend it to six slots long. And if you use both of those attachments in tandem, the gun will be seven slots long, making it extremely massive. So the RPK is quite versatile in size, meaning that with the right attachments, you can use this gun on any map in the game quite efficiently. Now the RPK is a little bit more heavier than your average assault rifle. It weighs 3.8 kilos by default, but of course, if you add heaps of mods on, the gun will become even more heavier. Now the RPK is quite moddable. Of course you can change the barrel as previously stated, but you're also able to change the pistol grip, the stock, the magazine, you're able to add various scopes, and you're able to change the quad rail and add various grips, lasers and lights. When it comes to magazines, you can use a 10 round magazine if you want the best ergonomics, and there's also 30 rounds, 60 round, and a 95 round drum. Just keep in mind that the bigger the magazine, the less ergonomics you'll have. Now when I'm using the RPK, I don't like to play super aggressive, as the ergonomics makes it hard to aim down sights. So what I usually do is I like to be very aware of my surroundings and try and pre-aim if I can. Because if you and your enemy see each other at the same time and you both have the same reaction speed, if your enemy is using an assault rifle or a submachine gun, he's going to be able to aim down sights faster and get his shots on target quicker. Also, when you're using this gun, you need to be using the right ammo. RPK shoots a 5.45 by 39 ammo. There are 12 different rounds that you can be using, but I only use 4. These rounds are 7N39, BS, BT, and BP. 7N39 is one of the hardest ammos to come across. If you want to get your hands on this gun, you'll have to upgrade your hideout and craft it using one of each gunpowder. Also, if Killer happens to be using the RPK, he typically uses this round. Also, Scav Raiders tend to use this round as well. You can also buy it off the flea market, though it's quite expensive. Now, the reason why this round is so hard to come across is because of its penetration. Penetration value is 62. This means that it can get through just about any helmet in the game with relative ease. It will also absolutely shred end game armor with ease. You just have to watch out though that the gun does lack flesh damage, meaning that unarmored targets may take a few more shots than you're used to. BS is the next best round, has some pretty good armor penetration with a value of 51. It also has a flesh damage value of 40. Though this ammo is quite hard to come across as well. You need Prapple level 4 for around 890 rubles. You can also buy about 140 at a time. After that you have BT. BT ammo is quite cheap as well as being quite effective. It has a penetration power of 37 and a flesh damage value of 44. These rounds cost 425 rubles and you're able to buy 200 at a time. Just watch out though because BT rounds are tracer rounds and they can give away your position if you're in a dark environment. And the final round that you should be using is BP. BP has a penetration power of 32 and a damage value of 48. This round is quite effective during the early game and the mid game. It's also quite cheap at 296 rubles per round and you can buy 300 at a time. But I would kind of try and avoid using BP in the end game as most people will be using better armor. Now if you want to buy this gun for yourself, you can buy it from Prapple level 4 
for 65,312 rubles. There's also various trades for this weapon. At Prapor Loyalty Level 3, you can trade him 100 M61 rounds, as well as two blue gunpowders for an RPK with a drum mag. Also, at Mechanic Level 3, you can trade eight capacitors and two weapon parts for just a base RPK. The RPK tends to be used by Killer a lot on the map Interchange. Just be sure to take his magazines as he typically tends to use expensive bullets. So please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and enjoy these bonus clips. Yeah, just stay prone, Matt. Oh, that's me. He's pushing. On the right. Left, left, left side pushing mid. Left side pushing mid. <laughs> Holy fuck, what is he wearing? Killed one of me. Am I still alive? I killed one, killed one. Matt, you jump on top of me. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're <laughs> Where are you going? Just over here, mate. You'll see Make us. sure we do a clean sweep. <laughs> Come close to the wall and I'll jump up on this. <laughs> what a head glitch. <laughs> if it can't see anyone, bitch, we got. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> On the corner with back four of us. <laughs> oh, I don't know, I might break my legs. It's worth it, but. Then we're not doing it, we've got to go in and get the loot. Fuck the loot, this is funnier. No, we got to go get the loot! Get on, boys. <laughs> here for a whole day. <laughs> Everyone crouch. <laughs> like what happens if the bottom person stands up? You stand up. Broken. It's one on the yep. floor. It's big red thing. The fucking long grass. <laughs> it's on the floor. Really? Beneath Matt. Oh, my oh, yeah, oh what I is need that? It. You I need, need it. it. Yeah. I need it. My leg's broken. Yeah, so is mine. Fuck your leg. Yeah, Fuck Matt. your leg. Over in the corner, Matt, here. Yeah, I'm. Marshall gonna have one of them done. Fucking. In the corner there. 